It's time for Outdoors in the Valley on WJER. Outdoors in the Valley is brought to you by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. When looking for a reliable local propane provider, trust TMK Valley Propane. Affordable, friendly, professional. All the way with TMK. Outdoors in the Valley is coming up next. TMK Valley Propane is embracing remote tank monitors. Are you tired of going outside to check your propane tank or forget to order your propane on time? TMK Valley Propane now provides reliable remote tank monitoring technology. Let TMK Valley Propane take the worry away, provide timely delivery, and never run out of propane again. Thank you for your trust in TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Outdoors in the Valley on WJER. I'm Jamie Hambaugh. Hunters are back out in the woods this weekend for the conclusion of Ohio's week-long deer gun season. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources was reporting that Tuscarawas County hunters had checked in the second most deer for all of the counties in the state on opening day Monday at 712 deer. Only Coshocton County hunters took more at 858 deer. Tuscarawas County Wildlife Officer Mike Budd was reminding deer hunters to follow all local rules and don't trespass. Most municipalities, I'm not aware of any actually in Tuscarawas County currently that allow hunting within the city limits. So I guess the first thing that would apply there is is the fact that most of these municipalities have an ordinance against the discharge of a weapon inside city limits. So that prevents hunting being allowed inside city limits. So other than that, the other thing that I most commonly see is guys are now using these apps on their phone. The apps will sometimes show it as being owned by the state of Ohio or owned by uh, maybe a public sector. And what they need to know is that just because it says that on the app does not mean it's open to, to hunting. They need to do some further research and find out if it is a public hunting area. Bud says the state tries to make it clear where hunting is allowed, and if you're not sure, you need to find the property owner and ask for permission. If it's a public hunting area, it will be marked with our signs, and it will say that it is a public hunting area. We've got the yellow square signs, um, and it will be well marked saying that it's a, a public hunting area. Along with that, there are some properties that are owned by Muskingum Watershed Conservation District and some properties that are owned by Army Corps of Engineers. Those properties are, in fact, open to public hunting a lot of times as well, but you would have to reach out to those particular agencies to ask about where they are allowed to hunt because there is some places even within those properties that are off limits. Bud says private properties fall under all of the normal hunting regulations for the state. So there's no size written into the law for the size that the property has to be to be huntable. I always caution guys against these small pieces because if you haven't went and reached out to the adjacent landowners and and the people around the property you're hunting, uh, you still have to retrieve the deer. So if you have a smaller piece of property that you're trying to hunt, if that deer runs off of the piece that you are hunting, you have to have permission to retrieve that deer. And uh, that goes for as many properties as that deer crosses. So if you're trying to, to track the deer, you need to have permission from each and every landowner that you cross or that you decide you want to walk into. And if they don't give you permission, then you cannot go. And there's no way to override that. Bud also says that hunters need to be responsible with the remains of any deer they harvest. We get a lot of deer getting carcasses and stuff getting dumped. A lot of guys will process their deer and then they'll take it out and dump it along the road somewhere, which is super annoying. But they they can be ticketed for that. That's that's considered litter. And so if we find out who dumps them deer, we, we do give them a ticket. So. Meanwhile, state wildlife officials have again been watching for chronic wasting in deer. The Division of Wildlife is reminding deer hunters to watch for a chronic wasting disease in the state's surveillance area of Hardin, Marion, and Wyandotte counties. Officials say sampling is mandatory for all deer harvested in the surveillance area during the week-long gun season, which ends on Sunday, December 3rd. CWD is a fatal neurological disease that affects deer and other similar species, including mule deer, elk, and moose. No evidence exists that CWD can spread to humans, pets, or livestock. To find out more, you can log on to wildohio.org. Eric Brown, ONN News. Again, you are listening to Outdoors in the Valley on WJER. Now, if deer hunting's not your thing, this week Tuscarawas County Park Department Director Jesse Rodocker was gearing up for the Luminary Walk happening at the Norma Johnson Center this weekend. 
people will be able to walk um, our accessible trail for a little while up to our preservation pond in the dock there and then return back down through our uh, wooded pine and we've had the path and the route will be marked uh, with luminaries. So people are uh, encouraged to come out and brave the cold for a chance to see the Norma Johnson Center at night. And we will have cookies and hot chocolate, maybe some coffee available for, uh, for the public if they wish. And just really looking to bring people outside and, and enjoy the, the parks and trails that we have. And that walk was scheduled to take place from 5 to 7 p.m. on Saturday. For more on that or any of their upcoming events, you can visit the Tusk Parks website. And you've been listening to Outdoors in the Valley. I'm Jamie Hambaugh for WJER. And in the words of the late Jim Dugan, go out and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening to Outdoors in the Valley on WJER. Brought to you weekly by TMK Valley Propane in Bakersville. Online at tmkvalleypropane.com.